Okay, so my uh, my phone doesn't like trying to do things in selfie mode, so I did it the old-fashioned way, using the mirror. <clears throat> so AEW Wind Trust, I was gonna try to shoot this outside, but it's like, freezing cold outside. <clears throat> so they did a, a dark match first, which was Penelope Ford, Britt Baker taking on Riho and Yuka. Nice match, good, lots of good back and forth, lots of good old-fashioned heel trickery. So of course, Britt Baker ended up winning with a lockjaw. Then at Dark Order versus SCU, continued their storyline pretty well. Like the post-match beatdown, then you had Colt Cabana come down, as well as having uh, Christopher Daniels come down, dressed in a cloak like he was the exalted one. So that that worked. That was a, a good good way to get the crowd kind of going. Um, there we go. Uh, the Dustin Rhodes, Jake Hagar match. You know, not a lot of ring rust on Jake. Did meet him briefly uh, after the event. Got a fist bump. I liked when Dustin came down and, and kissed his wife, like getting all the makeup smeared on her. She did a really good job when it came to just getting the crowd to really hate Jake a little bit more, especially being like, I want you to break his arm. It's like, that's, that's good. That's, that's some good stuff there. <coughs> The, uh, the the Darby Allen match versus Sammy Guevara. I liked how they decided to do all of their big spots, like a table spot, really early before the match even started. Made for a really unique way of doing it. I have to tell my wife, this is the first time really seeing Darby Allen. I'm like, you're gonna watch this guy pretty much get obliterated, and then he's gonna come back and win the match, which is pretty much it. But you know, they beat each other pillar to post it. It worked. Like all the matches felt vastly different. <clears throat> the tag title match. Non-stop 30 minutes. That was... Man. That was an incredible, incredible experience overall. <clears throat> great, great to watch. I like how they still teased a heavy amount of dissension. Seen Hangman Page at the variant after they retain their titles, getting you ready to do like a buckshot and then not doing it. And like, no, I'm, I'm holding the rope for you. It, it worked. They told a really good story. It was an incredibly entertaining match. I still think the Bucks are incredibly arrogant. I'm glad the crowd booed them, but there's no denying the level of talent they, they bring to the ring. I then felt really bad going, okay, who has to follow this match? Statlander versus Nyla Rose. You know, they tried so